lovelies. Shani here. Welcome to Monday. Monday-itis. I know. I never normally do Mondays, but I can't keep up with Fridays. <laughs> so if I start at the start of the week and aim to have something done live, I'm happy. I've just had amazing big weekend with a couple of classes. We had a fun time, but today I want to show you what I made on the weekend in between my classes. This is for the Sunday Stamping Blog Hop, which is an international blog hop. And it's a super, super cute treat bag. Now this is not my I, original design. This design came from Lisa Griffin Zonwoka. Zon, Zowolik. So well. Anyway, it's written on my blog, her name. She's a US demonstrator and a very successful one. There's so many cute ideas that you can do with this tote bag. It uses up one whole piece of designer series paper. So if you've got lots and lots and lots of that and you want to know something and ideas, what you can do and how to get ready for Christmas with super quick, fast, easy, lovely, cute prezzies. You can put anything in them. You can put cards like I've done here. Or you can fill them up with lollies, chocolates, all sorts of prezzies. So it's really, really cute. And hi, Debbie. And I thought I'd show you how to do it. I have written on my blog, which I'll put a link to. I have written on my blog how I made it, but I'm going to show you as well. Now, saying that, Lisa, or Lisa, who I did get the idea from, she's done a beautiful YouTube. So I'm not trying to reinvent her YouTube, but I thought if it's easier just to see here, sometimes it, it takes a while to follow up links. Anyway, let's go to the, let's go to it. I'll flip you over and we will come and have a look how I made it. So, here we are. Okay. Hi, Liz. Hi, Lita. Hello, love. Haven't seen you for a while. We should catch up. We should do a little chat, I reckon. Last time I saw you was in the US when, oh goodness, how many years ago was that? <laughs> was it a long time? Okay, so this paper is one of the Freebie Celebration papers. Let me see if I can remember what it's called. It's Peaceful Prints. So, celebration's only for a few more days. And if you want to get some more freebies or some freebies, this is the time to get it. Anyway, so start with a... 12 by 12 piece I'm going to do this live with you so if I stuff it up you will get to witness it I'm going to cut now this is directional paper because of the, it's got the trees if you don't want directional paper use the polka dots I like both so I'm a bit torn so I'm going to try with the trees if it doesn't work we'll end up with the polka dots <laughs> okay so when it's directional paper you want to have for example, um, facing up this, facing up the right way at the front, but of course at the back, at the back, this, these trees will be upside down. So you have to make that decision whether you want that. But that's okay, it doesn't matter until you actually start to fold the bag. So what we want to do is have your paper in the way you want the bag to face. So this is the way we want it to face up right at the front. We're going to cut off two strips, two one inch strips. The reason for that is they will become the handles. So I, I can't quite get you in here. There we go, we'll try that. So what I'm going to do is, I'll just cut this way. I'm used to using my guillotine. I don't use this one as much anymore. There we go. So that's one inch. One inch and then a second inch. So you're cutting off two inches so it becomes 10 by 12 inches. And we'll save these pieces. Oh, hi, Rosemary. Hello. We'll save those two pieces. Them aside. Let's see if I can lose them while I'm doing this. Put the cutter away. 
and whoops, knock everything around. There we go. Let's see if I can get that better. There we are. Put on some more light, perhaps. Ooh, there you go. Maybe that's better. Okay, so now we have this along the top here. So along the top here is 10 inches. Along the side here is 12 inches. And we're going to score three places on the long side. So I have, I love this scoreboard. I think this is so easy to use. So I'm going to turn it so this is the 12 inches along here. And we're going to score at five, six, and seven. Okay. Five, six, and seven. And that's it. That's all we do. But while we've got the scoreboard out, we'll also score these two beauties at half an inch. Oops. Now, I apologize for those who do do centimeters. I haven't worked it out for you, and I haven't got it in the top of my head. So you may have to convert if you're not an inch person. I didn't grow up with inches. I grew up with centimetres, but I taught myself. It took me two years <laughs> to work out how to do inches, but well worth it because a lot of my tools are in inches and I actually enjoy using that more now because it's not as small a number to work with. I don't know, I just seemed, I've started wearing glasses. It's just inches are bigger. I know that's bizarre, but it depends what you use. So I've just folded them in half and I'm sort of off the track here. Depend, to choose which side you want out facing out. Because I'm aiming to have the trees facing out, I'm going to have tree handles. So they've been cut at one inch wide by 12 inches long, scored in the middle at half an inch. Hello, Jan. So now we go back to our actual piece. So that's the 12 inch, that's the 10 inch, and we've scored it at five, six, and seven in the middle, down this way. Probably can't see it too well at the moment. Now what we're going to do is cut into it three inches from both sides. So you can either measure it with a ruler and then hand cut, or you can do what I'm going to do and use your trusty paper cutter. Let's see if I can get this on screen for you. And I'm going to just put it through. Now, th th there's three lines scored. You don't want to touch the middle line. You just want to do the five and the seven inch. So you probably can't see this too well. I'm going to, this is the cutter, the dark one. I'm going to cut down all the way to the three. Okay. And then whilst I've got that lined up, move the move the cutter down to the end. Now it's 10 inches down here. I'm going to move that up to seven, which is another three inches. So I've done both at the same time. Now I'm going to move that right along to that seven inch. So that's five, six, seven. So move it along to the seven inch score. And repeat. Go right down to three inches and then move it down to the bottom and go up to seven inches. So that's three, cut both ends. Okay. So now your paper's looking a bit like, oh, gonna, now your paper's looking a little bit like this. Well, it should look exactly like that. <laughs> and what we need to do is decide now, this is when you have to decide, do you want your bag to be, oh, to be, that's the outside, or do you want it polka dot? I really love the polka dot, but I want to see it with the trees as well. I think the trees are really nice too. So I'm going to do trees. So this is gonna be the inside of the bag. This is the three inches cut in. I'm going to just fold that in and give it a little score. And same on this side. Fold that in. 
give it a little score. This is a really, really quick bag. I've got another bag to show you. It may, uses up two pieces of DSP and it looks like a cute shopping bag, but we'll do that another time. So now this just gets glued on itself. A little bit of glue here. And we go. Now I'm gonna make tons of these bags. I've got plans. I don't wanna to give too much away, but I've got plans to fill them up with goodies for my team. And this is a great way to do it really cute and pretty, but also really quick. And I have so much paper. So much paper. So now it looks, I don't know, it looks like it looks like the letter H, doesn't it? Okay, now what we want to do is these are identical. So what we want to do is to put double-sided tape just on one of these ends. So I'll show you. I'm going to just put some here. Now you might use your, um, I can't think what it's called, the, the roller that puts adhesive out, but I don't have my license for that. I get myself into a pickle and really don't cope. So I've got tape on this one. I'm gonna put tape on this end as well. And that's it, not on the other one, just this. Let me find the end of it. There we are. Okay. So we've now got double side tape on, on those two ends, all right? But nothing on that side. So now we'll tape off this tape. Sorry, I'm on the wrong angle here. There we go. Okay. And leave the sticky bit as it is. Hello, Jodie. And fold up the side that isn't sticky. So we sort of want to go for this look. Okay, you do one at a time. It's not, I found this, this is a quick one. It's not probably as precise as some bags that I've made in the past, but I'm not complaining. So I'm lining up, this is the sticky bit, and I'm going to, you have a gap down there, can you see? There is a hole, but that's all right, unless you're putting things that will pull through it, it won't matter. And I'm trying to line that up as flush, flush as I can. And then just let that naturally go all the way to the bottom. Okay. So now it looks like that. And you want to do the same on this side. Roll up, roll up this part of your bag and bring him around. Sorry, I keep knocking that. And again, get it as flush as you can. We are going to cover this bit so you won't see if it's not perfect. And then seal that down as well. So now you've got this look. It looks like this. And yes, it, because it's not glued, you might want to put a bit of glue in there if you don't like that looking. Or if it's not touching, but that's okay. Now, I found there is a little bit of a, a bump if that really annoys you, like it sometimes annoys me, I just trim it off. Just trim it off. My first bag didn't have that, but sometimes it, my others did. So now it looks like this. You can gently squeeze so it's even and just gently squeeze the ends there and then it will sit a bit squarer. Also, I couldn't work out why there was a score mark in the middle when we don't do anything with it. But then I decided if this wants to go flat as a flat pack when you want to post it to someone look at that you can so i think that's purpose of that of that fold in the center there now i've done it it's not going to sit all right so basically that's your bag that's your start of your bag very quick wasn't it now you can if you want it to be a super quick bag we'll just put we'll just glue these little straps now I've left them at 12 inches because I like the long straps you can trim them as short as you like and 
I'm just going to put wiggle, wiggle, wiggle glue all the way down, close it up, close it up, come on little one, close up. Now I'm just going to give this paper a bit of a train to make him curl a little bit. Now of course I've rushed this and it's not as nice as, I've, as it could be. I've got a couple of bumps, but that's right. So I've, I've curled that a little bit. I'm going to do the same to the other one. Hello Sharon, how are you gorgeous? Well, it's nice to hear you or see you or know you're there. Okay, so we're just going to put that one on as well. Let him don't know why the glue's not working today. Maybe the weather's a bit warmer. Got beautiful blue skies, nineteen degrees rain coming tomorrow okay so my scoring technique's not that great look at that <laughs> that's really bad so i'm going to trim that embarrassment but you can't really see it because it's green can you can't really see it too much someone will okay so that's good right so you've got your two you've got your two handles you've got your bag if you want to just now go ahead and put your handles in, you can. It looks fine, doesn't it? It looks quite cute, it's lovely. If you want to do what I did and add that extra little rim, can you see I've added a rim there? Um, I, you can. So I've cut already two strips of the garden green to match the paper. Now the measurement for this is again one inch wide, scored it half down the middle, and this length, that's that's the fun bit. It should it should work. And both bags I've made has worked. We'll see if this one does. This length here is six inches and five eighths. Okay, now I can tell you what that is in centimeters because I have my ruler, but my ruler's not long enough. Okay, so six inches and five eighths is equal to just under 17 centimetres. So it looks like 6.9 centimetres. <laughs> okay, or like I've said, six, six and five eighths, which is basically six and a half plus two more. Okay, so Again, give these a bit of a train, stretch the fibres so they bend, because you, cause your bag's on a nice little curve as well. So you've got them all curvy. And do a dry run. So put them in, and because you've, fold, because you've given that a little fold on the corner, you know where your bag, the, side, the front and the back of your bag is. So, Put them in as a dry one. You may need to trim them a little bit. No, that works. Oops, sorry about the knocking. See, that works. So I don't know how that works every time because this bag might be, you know, you might do the circle tighter or, or not so tight. I don't know how, it's, it's just magic. It's magic to me. So this time you need glue on both sides of the inside because it's going to stick on two different surface areas. So give it a nice layer. This is a new glue, but I don't know what's happening. And like I said, this you can put cards in this bag. I mean, you know, you can put anything you want in this bag. There is a, because there is the hole in the bottom, obviously you can't put things that are too small, but they can all easily go in cellophane bags. Chocolates, you could make cookies, popcorn, gingerbread men. You could fill it up with goodies. I've 
any kind or just fill it with beautiful Christmas cards. If you give it early enough, people can use it for themselves for Christmas cards. So, so there's a bit of a gap. Am I bothered? No. Uh, I, I think this is just a quick throw together bag. Some people keep everything you make them, some people don't. So maybe save your best ones for the ones you know who keep it. <laughs> Is that terrible? Anyway, it's a fact. We only have so much room in our homes. Okay. Now, we've got to get him on there. And squeeze it. Okay, so that looks, that looks, I think it looks finished and it cleans up the edge. Right, now comes the putting the coals in. I just, I just fold it flat. So you're doing two holes instead of four. Hold your bag flat. And I went in about one and a half inches from the edge. So let me see if I can wing this on camera. Can you see? So one and a half inches. Line up the front and the back of the bag and punch a hole. And now you've made two holes at once. You've got your two holes done in exactly the same position. Okay, that's a, that's a chunky hole, that one. Okay, and then the same on the other end. One and a half. And make your hole, line up the two. without putting a hole in yourself. No holes today, please. I actually find, I don't know this is naughty, but I actually find my old original poker easier to use. It's a little bit finer. There we go. Okay, so we've got our holes done. Again, it's probably a bit messier than what I would do if I was taking my time. This, I just used my eye. I went in, let's say, well, how far did I go in? I didn't really measure it. Okay, half an inch in, make a hole. About half an inch in, make a hole. You could be clever and line them up together. And to put them together, you can just glue them. You didn't have to do that. You could just glue them. But I have all these brads. You know, there's round and square brads. I have tons of them. Look at them all. What should we use? Black ones, I think. And I think they give that bag, that tote bag, a cute little finish with because the handles swing. Okay, so I've got four of the black squares. I think that works well on the green when green and black there. And I'm going to put them, oopsie, through there. Make sure you make sure that's square because once it's in it's hard to spin. And then because this is the front of the bag, no, it's the back of the bag. Let's pay attention. Tree's upside down, tree's the right way up. I want to do the front of the bag with the trees up the right way on this handle. Push it through nice and tight and then open your bread. And finish off the other side as well. So yes, because this paper is directional, you will have trees upside down one side and up the right way the other side. that bothers you, well then you would use the polka dot, which is gorgeous too. So through we go. But I think it's a really quick, fun way. I mean, I'm going to make about 11 of these, so now I've made three. I'm halfway there, hey? <laughs> Not quite, but I will get there. Oops, what am I doing? Okay. 
through there. So open these up. And there you have your cute tote bag. I just like it because you, you can move your handles around and swing it around. So if you've got something big to put in, you can really open it up. Okay, now just to finish off, just to finish off the bag, I have got my handy build a deer punch and some crumb cake, crumb cake cardstock. Going to punch myself a deer without spilling everything around the room. Going to put these reindeers on. Now we had this discussion last time. Do I put the reindeer ears at the, you know, the horn, the, what are they called? The, I can't think of what these are called. Anyway, do you put them in, in, in front of the body or behind the head? In front of the head or behind the head? So inies or outies? We decided that we keep them as outies. And so they're behind the ears. There we go. And put some two dimensionals on there. Find the front of your bag. You can stack there. Now I've got some garden green and a little scrap piece. Antlers, that's it. Thank you, Sharon. Antlers. <laughs> I just couldn't get my words, could I? Okay. Uh, Merry Christmas. Now, this is from The Peaceful Deer. Merry Christmas. I like this font because it's sort of handwritten. It looks cute. And I'm just going to... So I hope you girls keep all your strips and... Oh, I keep a lot, not all of them, but these strips and scraps that you cut off because they're already cut. The thickness is there. Sometimes it's perfect. So snip that off. Put some more dimensionals on the back. So all the measurements are on my blog if you missed some of it. But And I'll put this video on there too. So you can watch it again. And stick that on Merry Christmas. This ribbon, the shimmer, gold shimmer ribbon, is divine. I think I need more of it. I love it. And I'm quite generous with it because I think it's the only, you know, shimmery, Christmassy bit of, um, I'm not saying generous with it, I haven't got enough. It's the sparkle. It's the shine. It's the sparkle. It's all about the sparkle. And of course, here, here's me trying to tie a bow. Live. No pressure. Yes, it's wonky. It's okay. Now this is long. I like it long. You could cut yours shorter. I think it's quite lovely to have it long. It's a little bit indulgent. You probably get yours straighter, but there we go. There's your tote bag by Lisa Griffin Zowolnek. Thank you, Lisa. And I'll just quickly show you the other element to this was the card. And again, I just used that same designer paper. I've started the card already. I've stuck on this normal card base. I've just stuck on the designer paper. Now a really, really, really good way, if, you've, if you're crazy about this, be, what is it, be, can't think of the word, but I always say it, um, the star paper, not a bit glamorous. Um, oh, hello, Celine. How are you? Be, be glittery, be glamorous, be, be something. I've gone blank today. Anyway, it's six by six, and it, I've got tons of it because I love it, and I just keep getting it, but I don't like wasting it because it is six by six. So I'll show you how you can get four cards out of that piece. Be dazzled. Sharon, you are my absolute angel today. 
Thank you. So this piece here is actually three by three. So you just cut that into quarters and wham, no waste, and you've got your card looking beautiful. You can also die cut out another square or something in the middle if you, if you want to still use it. So this piece then sits on top, okay? And so you cut this to whatever you want. So this is three inches square. So I've cut this, I think, the same as I've cut the, the same measurement as I've, as I've cut this bit, which is uh, six and five eighths. So six and five eighths. So if you cut that in quarters, you don't need to measure it. But this one in centimetres is six and a half centimetres. Okay, and that is a, a seven and a half centimetres. So it's one centimetre less all around. But I just love the fact there's no waste on, on your um, bedazzled paper. Thank you, Sharon. <laughs> I wish you guys could talk. I'm sure there's, I know there's light, I know there's a different way, but it'd be good, wouldn't it? Okay, so that's, these, these cards are so quick. And like I said, I might be making up to 11, 12, 13 of these box, these bags. I might throw in a few cards, but if someone did want to make them as gifts for someone else, they, they do make a quick card. And you can always do more to them. You could add some bling, you could add some of the pretty ribbon that I've used. You can do anything, but I want to keep them simple. And sometimes simple is nice. You know, like sometimes it's just enough. It's lovely. I probably put the antlers backwards last time. I don't know. I need to pay more attention to the anatomy of a deer. This is the quickest way I've found to get the antlers on. Still sticky, but these mats are the best. Okay. I'm... Um, just repeating really what I did on the bag. I like that neutral look of the of the deer, reindeer. So he's gone on there, and I don't oh I don't have enough paper, and I'm not going to go hunting for it. But then I would stamp the Merry Christmas in the green, and um, and that's it. But like I said, this would look gorgeous with with a ribbon on it. Or, or something else you like to do. But that, my loves, is how I made this bag, and this bag, and this bag, <laughs> and many more to come. So thank you for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Monday, or happy, happy Sunday for those who are overseas in the US, and watching in France as well. And take care, and Keep an eye out for my other bag tutorial might come up this week on how to use up two pieces of designer paper for one bag and it's just fabulous it's very fast okay take care loves and hugs bye bye